Assalamu alaikum viewers Welcome to our channel Today we are setting on for our journey to Astor, a city of Gilgit, Baltistan Since we have reached Ravi Tool Plaza which is leading to motorway towards Islamabad Our first stay would be in Kalar Kahar and second stay would be near Chalas and on following day we will be leaving for Gilgit, Baltistan uh, and city of Astor, a charismatic place. Please follow us and enjoy the journey. Kalar Kahar is a town and subdivision of Chakwar district in Punjab. It is the capital of Kalar Kahar Tehsil. Emperor Babur described Kalar Kahar in his famous takht e babri as a charming place with good air. Friends, now we are here in Kalar Kahar. Today weather is too hot and it's sunny. There are no clouds you can see here. Uh, and we need some refreshment. We have stopped here at a resort named Green Palace Resort and there are many tuck shops passengers usually stay here for a while for rest and islamabad is 100 kilometer from here it's not too far so let's go for some refreshment now we are at rahat bakers actually this is the brand of lahore bakers and let's move in and find some food stuff. We had a short stay at some resort in Kalar Kahar, but unfortunately, the administration was poor and they were selling the stuff at high price. Well, that's a cool place, shady trees. Let's take a respite here, and you can see around us that there are hills, and actually, the Kalar Kahar. The hilly area of Kalar Kahar is the embankment signs indication of Islamabad, the capital of Pakistan. Let's have some rest. After covering 375 km from Islamabad, we at last reached the tunnel known as Aptabad Tunnel. It is a project of the CPAC China Pakistan Economic Corridor and it was completed in 2019 and initially when we entered the tunnel it was horrific and dark but as soon as we re-entered the tunnel it had cast a deep and profound spell on our minds and on our heart then we head towards Mansera city it is a historical city for hosting the Khalsa Empire and it also hosts the Shiva Temple, the Temple of Hindus. It is the 71st largest city of Pakistan. It is a renowned city situated on the northern side of Aptabad. We were preoccupied with its serene, beautiful environment and unfortunately on the way back to Lahore our car had broke down and we had to stay at Mansera for two days. Balakot, the land of Sayyid Ismail Shahid, the martyr of 1837, the war of Balakot. In 2005, there had been a great earthquake which had shaken the foundations of the city. In 2006, and later on, the city was reconstructed, and the people were quite compassionate and sympathetic. And memories of those and reminiscences of those memories are still imprinted on our minds and on our hearts. Hello friends, we are here at last at Balakot city and weather is foggy, the clouds have come downwards and there is a feeling of intense pleasure, delight and a misty weather. You can see the river flowing behind me with its currents, troughs, crests and troughs. The river is not clear, there is some dirt. But the peculiarity of this river is that its 
it is uh, emerging out from the Lulusar Lake and its mouth is the Jehlam River where it does fall actually and you can see uh, the greenish mountains and the greeny areas behind me the weather is serene the environment is serene calm and poised now we are setting on for our journey towards Chilas which is somewhat dry and dreary journey please join us visiting northern areas of Pakistan one cannot refrain himself from recalling the charms of Naran city the day we reached there it was overcrowded because a lot of people had flattened our after the pandemic situation had come to rest people were not observing the SOPs prescribed by the government the car the wagons were packed together intensely Well, that's what I must call a true soothing place. It's very peaceful, serene environment. Uh, now, friends, viewers, we are here in Jalakand, and you can see the uh, splashing water. It seems that these pearls and crystals are spattering over the surface of the water. In this scenario, uh, I reflect few uh, lines of uh, Wordsworth. In his famous poem, he says, let the moon shine on thine in thy solitary walk. Let the misty mountains winds blow against thee. Let when thy mind will be a mansion for lovely forms, and thy memory will be a dwelling place for sweet memories and harmonious songs, then in what healing thoughts will thou remember me? Actually, human thoughts are a reservoir of beauty which we must use in our pain sufferings let's go on finally we have stopped here to have a lunch during traveling you must not eat too much lunch you must have a smaller portion of meal secondly the way to Naran Valley was very overcrowded and it was tiresome and I'm too much tired and couldn't have get my shave uh, thirdly the government is not taking any particular measures to uh, restrict tourists and visitors and to adopt SOPs properly uh, because during pandemics and COVID-19 situation uh, people were restricted heavily to enter into the uh, premises of the valley of Naran and Kagan. Now as they have uplifted the restriction people are, have flocked in these cities and we are seeing a lot of people around us. Let's have some lunch. At last we are here now near the Sust Lake and you can see that the color of lake is blue and green. It's bluish green combination and surrounded by the dry and blackish mountain ranges. Uh, now we are heading towards Babusar top, but we will stay for a short while because there is intense suffocation there. So let's move on. 150 km ahead from Kagan city, there is Babusar top whose height is 13,750 km. It can easily be accessed by cars, but there is the problem of suffocation for heart patients and the people coming outside so we had a short while short stay there and we headed towards Chilas Valley as I have told you earlier that our journey was destined for Astor city the city of Gilgit Baltistan on the west there is Diamar district and on the east it shares the boundaries of Skardu a renowned president and renowned personality of Pakistan, General Musharraf had spent 10 years and he had his maiden post in, in the same city as Thor and many chalks and many roundabouts are dedicated to him in his commemoration. In very 
very words of John Keats, a renowned poet. He says, Bold lover, never never can't thou kiss, Though winning near thy goal, but do not grieve, She cannot fade, Though thou hasn't thy bliss, The more will thou love, And better she be. Actually, he's manifesting beauty in his couplet, Human mind, in very words of Keats, is a dwelling place, a storage house, a reservoir for future memories. It serves as food for dry and dreary moments. Whenever we feel some dull moments, those beautiful, charming and bewitching sights and memories actually acts as a food for those memories, those moments and turn them, them into pleasing and delightful moments. Today, we are at Pakora Lake. You can see the lake and the water splashing there, the crests and troughs of water, and there are pebbles of different colors, various colors, beneath the surface. And it seems that one is playing hide and seek with us. Sometimes it covers the, sometimes clouds covers the sun, and sometimes sun appears again it's a sunny weather secondly there are people here for picnic and they have come here for fishing let's join them come on Hello viewers, today we are here at Rama, it's situated at hardly one hour drive from Astor and you can see this greenish land and the hubs and shrubs trees, the mountain ranges. Uh, the timber mafia was playing a bad role and it was causing adverse harmful effects on this uh, scenery and this bewitching site but uh, the army uh, uh, recently has imposed some restriction against the timber mafia and the deforestation. Uh, you can see the sun is shining on its peak and it's playing hide and seek with us. Sometimes clouds cover the face of sun and sometimes it appears again. And the mountain ranges uh, where I am pointing is actually the Nanga Parbat. It means we are at the top of Pakistan and these mountains are snow capped still in the season of August. Uh, and thirdly, we are here in, uh, near the department of the Forest, forest department you can see on my back the forest department the resort uh, and today it is not vacated many people are here now uh, and the peculiarity of this place is that it's it's uh, actually the marked with the excellence of the polo game and the polo the horse you can see far away where i am pointing my finger is used for the polo game and this game is one of the most famous game of Gilgit Baltistan and it is well acknowledged here. Let's move on. Friends, today we are here at Shosar Lake, it's the side and you can see the lake is crystal clear and there are fish visible, clouds are less visible here and it is surrounded by the mountain ranges. It seems that nature has covered the mountains with its greenish shrouded veils here and you can see people here people here are, few of them are natives, various are from out of station. They are here for enjoyment and kids and a lot of people are enjoying a lot here, here. secondly this place has been see that the cool breeze is blowing here with its full utmost let's enjoy first friends these precious moments are food for future moments which will turn 
our dry and dreary movements into colorful and pleasing and delightful movements. I recall few verses of William Wordsworth in his famous poem, Tintin Abbey. He says, Let the moon shine on thy, in thy solitary walk. Let the misty mountains wind blow against thee. When thy mind will be a mansion for lovely forms, and thy memory will be a dwelling place for sweet memories and harmonious song. Then in what healing thoughts will thou remember? Jersai National Park was established in 1993. It was established for the protection of brown beef. Deosai is actually the frag is fragmented with the two words Deo and Sai. Deo means giant and Sai means shed. Together it makes the shadow of the giant. People come here for the sake of excursion. The Shoser Lake offers a magnificent sight. On the way back to home, we had a narrow escape and the car had broke down. But it took almost five hours to repair and we at last went to home. Hello friends, we are back again. A renowned laureate Francis Bacon in one, his, one of his famous essays of travel says that a man must visit different places, various places and he must acquire the knowledge of various places. On traveling sea, man only observes the blue water but on Traveling over the land, on the land, man observes and meets the different people and man embraces the culture of the different people, their craft, their civilization. Visiting the northern places of Pakistan, one cannot refrain himself from recalling the Astor, Kilgit, Baltistan and Ratu. Those lands are bestowed with the gifts of natural scenery. They are bestowed with the bounties of nature the rivers, the land, the rocky places. The people there living, are living the simple life. They are at loss to nature. The crime rate is diminishing day by day owing to the military and the good administration there. Secondly, one must not keep himself from adopting the culture of different people. As I have said that the people there are very lively, are very kind, are very sympathetic and close to nature. So we are supposed to be receptive to their culture, their norms and their simplicity. Friends, soon we will be visiting a new place along with you. We will be exploring different phenomena of nature. Please join us. Press the bell icon button. Thank you.